back online. Today we're going to have a look at why people are dying. You can see here I've got some ill people. This person seems to be unhappy. You can see the uh, money in front of him. So he's not happy because of the money. He's not happy because he's opposite pollution. It won't tell you this. You have to um, click on it and it will say citizens are sick. It won't tell you why they're sick. It will have the little thing like the red is pollution. You can see over here I've got pollution. Um, there's loads of different reasons why your citizens will die. Um, you really have to get to the bottom of it yourself, unfortunately. It, um, if everyone's dying, it's probably something to do with your water. It'll work. Like when these people die, they'll have a little symbol next to them, like these guys. You can see um, the little coins are building up. That guy's got the rubbish. Um, you can see they're all a bit annoyed because the rubbish right there is full to the brim, oh, gone back to that one, um, go back over here to the trash, to the garbage landfill site, click on that, you'll see that it is 100% full, uh, empty to another building facility, I've got an incinerator over here and another landfill site that I've built to allow them to be emptied uh, and carry on being used as well, but well, I'm going to empty that one get rid of it because it's been quite built up now and the citizens are there so I'll, uh, once it's removed I'll get rid of that and build another incineration plant so people can die a number of ways um, these guys I think they're all annoyed because of the rubbish bin on it, it says it's got the little money there so they might be a bit pissed off and sick about the money but um, or oh, is a burglar there but yeah, otherwise, a lot of it, if it's red, it's pollution. If it's that, it's got something to do with money. If it's got a little drop of water next to the uh, guy who's unhappy, then he's ill. Um, over here, you can see these people are ill. These are sick of the noise. They can't noise pollution. If I go wire, uh, click wire, see info, go down to noise. You can see that it's the noisiest areas are there. Um... That that must be because the businesses, no, they're not businesses. They're, they're, the offices are business. It must be the roads and and things along those lines. So you can make a low noise zone, low traffic zone to try and help these people out. Uh, and again, that should help them from being sick. Of course, medical centres always make sure you've got medical centres readily available, medical clinics, hospitals. Cemetery as well, make sure you've got a good cemetery or a couple of good cemeteries to make sure everyone can bury the dead Otherwise again, you'll find more people will die and carry on dying um, Medical clinic you can see everyone's quite well serviced these guys over here. Oh, they're ill. If I chuck one there yeah, I'll chuck that there Then that should help them out. So you can see the green lines the infrastructure where what will help what and how uh, so if I build that there, then all them people that are currently red will go green. Uh, and if I let time go by, they should slowly be fixed. Slowly, slowly, slowly go, hopefully. Um, as you can see, death care, health care, have a look. Health care availability has gone up. Um, still got more sick citizens than I can heal. So not the best of scenarios, but at the end of the day most people are happy and like I said once I get rid of that landfill site it shouldn't be too tricky to keep this little section happy if you get everyone dying everyone then obviously you've got a problem like I said the sewage and the water um, your pollution can really if you have your water pumps which are these ones too close to your sewage pumps which are these ones then you'll be clogged bringing in dirty water your people will be drinking dirty water Everyone will get sick. I had it before at the start. It's a right pain in the arse and once it is contaminated It's really difficult to not get it contaminated um, So right at the start just make sure you've got these going downstream right off the edge of your map Make sure these are further up and the dams help um, because Obviously they produce electricity, but at the same time Gives them a lip there so that can never get up there now so um, You can see that you see, we're still a bit annoyed, so it's the garbage, I think, more than anything there, the garbage landfill site. Once that goes, um, 
we should have a good chance of all of them going. This guy is dead, what's he doing? A dead person is waiting for transport. Well, they can carry on waiting. There's no mad rush. But yeah, as you can see, as I said, people just get in, they get sick, they get annoyed, they get upset. Uh, and they get pretty angry about it. And then they get ill, and then they can die. Which is not, um, not good. And that's why you've got to be on top of these things. Um, if there's any symbols next to your little guy's face or head, then obviously that is a representation of what's going wrong, how they're going wrong, and how to fix it. Um, I hope this has been a helpful video. I'm going to keep trying to add videos that uh, will answer questions to people. Please leave a comment if there is any problems you're having with the game and would like me to try and answer and do a video on. Um, subscribe and I'm going to show you next video how to get the oil industry going because as you can see I've got three oil power plants there and not one of them has got oil um, that's got to be about 75 grams worth of capacity uh, producing oil there that they've got nothing to do so I'll do that on my next video um, and show you how to build an oil industry of, and raw materials that it's important to make a lot of raw materials production it will help with the economy massively help with jobs help with everything basically if you can bring raw materials into the game then obviously you're, you're pretty much producing money for free uh, off the land anyway thank you for watching please subscribe and um, I'll see you on the next video thanks for watching over and out